Okay, so today we've got a Sky Remote uh, from the old Sky Sky Plus HD boxes. Uh, what we're going to do is just tear it down, give it a good clean down. Um, it's got a bit of grime and a bit of dirt in there, so and some of the keys aren't working. The backspace key and uh, the zero, um, and yeah, they're pretty handy keys to have so what we're going to do is we're just going to tear it down and give it a good clean put it back together and see if that solves the issue as you can see I've already removed the screw that was uh, that was in there so It's just one screw holding hold, holding it in, so undo that. Once you've undone that, you can take your pry tool and just start prying around the edges. I'm starting from the bottom because there's the sensor at the top, so I just want to make sure that my pry tool is not too too close to that. So I'm just going to pry pry the edges until it separates. Okay, and that was a little bit, a little bit tough, but we've managed to get, get it open. So yeah, there's clips all around this, and what I'm doing is I'm just applying a bit of pressure, getting the tool in there, and popping it out. Okay, now now we've got the back off. Um, we've got the board. A uh, very basic. Uh, PCB, the number pad, which as you can see has got a lot of dust and grot and all sorts of uh, just years of built up. I'm just just going to give that a clean down and going to inspect the board as well, just to make sure that there's nothing untowards on there. Uh, check all the other parts, make make sure there's nothing nothing broken. Just going to give it a good clean down with the alcohol and reassemble. Okay, um, I have noticed that it's got a capacitor on it as well, so what we're going to do is just short that with a screwdriver. Again, uh, this one's got a plastic handle. Um, it's not overly big, but better to be safe than sorry, and if you're in the habit of doing it, then it's kind of hard not to do it. Nothing out of that, or if there was, not, not big enough for me to see. Um, so... Yeah, continue with the uh, clean down and we'll reassemble it. 
hopefully haven't fixed it. Again, I'm using my toothbrush with the um, sort of modified bristles. Um, it's an excellent cleaning tool, one of the best in the industry. So, um, yeah, just go all that grime out, free it up a little bit. I'm um, just getting sort of in between the buttons, just making, um, well, in the button, sorry. Um, just getting all the grime out of in, in there, because there's quite a lot in there. So, apologies if it's off camera. Yeah, certainly looking a lot better. Um but still a bit bit more to go. Now I could separate the black plastic from the silver plastic um and give it an even more thorough clean, but I'm gonna give it a clean this way and I'm just gonna see how it how it performs because these things aren't overly in use anymore. Um it's an old sky remote so um, I've got a box to test it with, so I'll test it, but apart from that, it's probably not going to see use again. Yeah, that's certainly a lot better than it was. So what we're going to do is now we're going to move on to the rubber buttons. Um, I th to be honest, I think this is where most of the problem most of the problem is. Um, so we're just going to give it a good soak in alcohol and give it a good clean down. Okay, now that's cleaned down, I'm just going to get it all lined up and uh, going to give the buttons a bit of a press in the field just to make sure that, yeah, they, yep, they feel alright. 
Uh, so I'm just going to put the board back in, get it all lined up. Okay, after putting it back together again, it didn't want to work, amen. So, um, a bit confused by that. So what I'm going to do is just tear it back down again. I think what I think what happened was um, the alignment of the springs. I think some of them weren't there, so the battery wasn't making a good enough connection. So I'm just going to take it apart, put it back together again, realign it, and then test again, and hopefully that works. Okay, that's a lot better. Yeah, that works. Um, I'm pressing the buttons, they're responding. Um, I will need to test it on the actual skybox, but... Yes, it's... That connector there. Um, they weren't quite sitting right. I think... I don't know what I did, but... Yeah, it's not not a problem anymore. All fixed, all done, the backspace works, the zero works, job done. Thank you very much, have a great day and please like and subscribe for more.